I'm often asked, should I roll over my old 401k into my current plan, keep it where it is, or roll it into an IRA? This is a decision that requires review and some time and consideration. However, making the correct decision could improve your overall financial picture. I'm Scott Brown, Senior Consultant, Retirement Services at Hensler Financial. On this edition of Planning Priorities, we'll take a closer look at your options of what to do with an old 401k. As I mentioned, you have several options, rolling into a new plan or to an IRA. Generally, you never want a cash distribution from a retirement plan as you will owe regular income tax and possibly an early withdrawal penalty. Thankfully, the Department of Labor provides rules for employers when dealing with former employees' 401k plan assets. If you have less than $1,000 in your plan, your former plan can close the account and issue you a check for that amount. If your account has between $1,000 and $5,000, your former plan can roll your assets to an IRA administered by a third-party custodian. If you have more than $5,000 in the plan, your former employer is obligated to let you leave it there if you choose. Let's first look at rolling your balance into a new 401k plan at your current employer. A consolidated view of your financial accounts can give you a more complete view of your overall portfolio, making it easier to monitor your investments and your beneficiary designations. When you have multiple accounts at various providers, it becomes increasingly difficult to track the investments, the fees, performance, and the rebalancing of your overall portfolio. Furthermore, employer retirement plans generally provide greater creditor protection than IRAs. You also want to consider the fees you'll be paying. By investing through multiple providers, you may be paying more fees or commissions than necessary on your previous plan. It's important to review your fee disclosure documents for both your current plan and your previous plan to see if consolidation makes sense from a fee perspective. Generally, the lower the plan's cost, the faster money can grow. If you decide to consolidate, please do it wisely. Next, consider your investment options. In a 401k plan, you're limited to a set selection of mutual funds. However, in an IRA, the universe of investments is virtually unlimited. For example, in addition to the usual IRA mainstays such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and CDs, an IRA can invest in real estate, limited partnership interests, or anything else the law or your IRA trustee allows. Finally, you'll want to consider the withdrawal rules of your previous plan and the rollover rules of your current plan to make sure this transaction can be made in accordance with the plan and regulatory rules. I know this decision can seem overwhelming. There are so many points to consider. At Hensler Financial, we are happy to provide an analysis of your previous plan versus your current plan to provide clarity on your investment performance, tax considerations, and fees. From there, you can be armed to make the most appropriate financial planning decision for you and your family regarding how to best invest your hard-earned money. Please feel free to reach out to us with any questions about your plan. We are here to help so that you can best take control of your finances and in the end, improve your overall financial picture. I'm Scott Brown with Hensler Financial.